have a little bit of wear on them. Pretty, pretty chain. Cute little butterflies. Let me get this right. The butterflies have rhinestones. There's some one rhinestone there, but we're still going to sell it. I don't see any other missing rhinestones, and then these are stone here. Probably magnesite with the brown veining in them. Let's see how long this one is. It's 18 inches. And we'll do this one for five. Very pretty. Butterflies, gorgeous. Here's the back. It's in great shape. Okay. Here's our next one. We have open links, white enameled and gold tone textured open links on curved chain. Great piece for layering. Or you can wear it alone. Here's your lobster claw, your extender with a bead. Very pretty. This is thirty three inches in length, fully extended. We do this for five. We have a cross pendant. Here's the back. Long chain, curved chain, lobster claw. We're going to do this for a freebie. Just claim it. Put the time stamp. And tell me it's cross freebie. Here's our next two necklaces layered together. First of all, we have this white beaded necklace and then the shell necklace. We're going to sell them together for a whole dollar. We can retire now. Yeah, we can fix the leak in the roof. <laughs> okay. I have some more. Oh, you're hiding stuff down there, huh? Yeah. Oh boy. I'm just going to show them. Look at this. Little teddy bear with green eyes. Here's the back. Nice uh, bell on that. Beautiful gold tone chain. It is. Seventeen inches. And we'll do him for five dollars. Very pretty. Quit making noise. Quit it. Stop it. Here's our um, pink graduating pink dark pink lighter and then very light pretty silver tone necklace I'm looking for marks I don't think I see any but rather than trust my eyes I trust the loop a lot more very cute let's see how long this is first it is 16 inches. We'll do that for two. We have a little heart. 
pretty silver chain. It's uh, Claire's. We're going to put that in the kids' lot, the children's lot. We've got a long ways to go. Let's see. We have a little angel pendant in gold tone, but the necklace is silver tone. We'll do that for a dollar. You can change that out and put another uh, pendant on that necklace if you want to. You want to? And put that little angel on a charm bracelet. If you want to. Okay, so what's next, dear? I guess bracelets and stuff like that. Alright, let's get started. Okay, I wanted to... Um, I pulled out some of the things from this box for the $18 craft lot. This was one of the pieces. It is missing, it's got this, but it's missing the toggle in that goes through it. But everything else is there. So that's going into the $18 hobby lot. And the next piece I had was this one. And it's all there except for, I believe there's another strand here that's missing. And you could just cut these off and make it three stranded. It was four actually, but three from there. I don't know. But anyway, that's going into the $18 Hobby Lot. Sorry guys, I guess I should have turned it off. Okay, but I didn't. All right, <clears throat> then we had this one that's beautiful. What is it missing? Rhinestone, one, two, and it's one of these. It does like that. Look at that, the inside is perfect. So you just need some new rhinestones. You have a beautiful bracelet. And they're prong set in there. One, two. And there's that one. That's going in the $18 Hobby Lot. The next one was this one. It just needs some clasp at the end. And I'm wondering if this, these weren't gold. Is why they were taken off. And maybe that these could be, but I don't know. But that's going into the $18 Hobby Lot. These feel marvelous. This one needs to be restrung. It's going into the $18 Hobby Lot. I'm not sure what's going on here. Oh, it broke. It broke apart. Like right, like this. That's a dollar if anybody wants it. These are a dollar if anybody wants them. In the Hobby Lot, say. Dollar Hobby Lot. These are vintage beads. Again, the class has been removed. These are a dollar if anybody wants them. 
And then we have these seed beads and some kind of the white seed beads and then actually seed beads. That's a dollar in the dollar hobby lot if anybody wants it. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you, honey. Okay. These are a matching pair. Oh, you found some more. Yeah. Well, here we have these pearls, barrel class. They are fifteen inches. I don't know if these are real or not. They feel good. We'll do those for four dollars. We have a green set here. Beautiful green clasp and a matching stretchy bracelet. It is 15 and a half inches. We'll do this for four. Okay, we're going to I believe these are Tagua nuts. Look at this side, isn't that pretty? Very pretty colors. Great for fall, I love the way this feels. It's naturals. Here's the inside. And this is one, I, I think it's Tagua Nut. That's what you're looking for, that. And this. We do this one for five. know how to tell you how big it is. We just do it like this. It is three and a half inches. So it'd be seven inches. But it's got stretch, so it could probably fit at seven and a half. The next one was this. I love these. They're done in acrylics. And the acrylic is over it to protect it. It's got um Mother Pearl shell-like on the inside. This is a beautiful blue one. I just kept a necklace that was like just like this, but it was brown. But I love this blue. Hmm. I might hold on to this to see if I can get my necklace like that. Mm, and, going back. Yeah. And if I don't, then I'll sell it. Here's some pretty, I think acrylic, nice acrylic beads in blue. I, you know, that's, they'll stretch, but you don't want to stretch them too much. We'll do those for four, both of those. Have another acrylic one in red and blue. It is acrylic. Was, now this is larger, so this is going to fit a larger wrist. It's big on me. We'll do this one for two. This is a beautiful one with porcelain beads, shell pieces, um, coin pearls there, glass beads. Got the little dangles on it. The ends are finished on each one. And then there it's got those bronzy colored seed beads in there. That's a beautiful green. Trying to get to where you can see the colors. I don't know why there's such a shadow cast. Turn it that way, maybe that'll help. Very pretty. This is four dollars. It would fit a larger wrist. The next one here, I believe, is wood. See, I can get it on real easy so it will fit a larger wrist. Looks like a giraffe design. 
with uh, brass in here. The four corners. There's your inside. You can see the wood here on the inside. So we'll do this one for five. Beautiful stone. Toggle clasp. Not magnetic. Those aren't. Let's see if I can break it. Mm. Just teasing. I am going to test it though because I think it's silver. I'm not going to try to test these stones in here because I'm afraid I will break it. I'm trying to bend it out. That does look like silver. Is it magnetic? Huh? Is it magnetic? No. Oh. I showed that already. Oh. You weren't paying attention. Oh. Tension, Papa, tension. Oh, okay, okay. It did turn red. You're looking for red, reddish brown. And the plus side is to, plus to using egg chain, you don't have to. Uh, and there's the blood stain you're looking for. Didn't show up real well. Let me do that again. Let's do this one. Okay. Let's do the 18 karat this time. See what it does. Oh yes, it's fluorescing. So yes, definitely silver. And again, it was not magnetic, Papa. Oh, yeah. I wonder if it had any marks. Looks like it might have something on the end here. No, I can't read it. So you have stone and sterling, stone and sterling, and the length is very important. Just like the necklace, you need it to fit you. I'd say seven and three quarters. We'll do this one for ten. Stone, very pretty. We're going to do a gem show one day. Here's some more red jasper, it looks like. Gorgeous. Feels wonderful. I could be wrong. I'm not an expert. It definitely is stone. I know that. And it's, I think it's jasper because it's so solid. And then it's the red color. So I'm calling it red jasper. three and a half or it's a little loose on me so very pretty we'll do this one for eight dollars those stone lots are very hard to get on shop goodwill they go up way up in price this is beautiful glass. Um, it, should, it could be stone that's dyed. Very pretty. Pretty toggle glass. Let's see. It's not magnetic. I'm suspicious because it's such a bright, bright silver. 
So let me see. Yes, it's copper based. So it's silver over copper. Let me see what these read. Oh no, these are stone. They're reading amethyst. They're going to the amethyst quartz area. The purple stones. Now the black stones. It doesn't check for onyx, but it does for spinel. And spinel comes in black. Not spinel. I guess some kind of glass or tourmaline. Could be tourmaline. This one is... I didn't measure it right. Eight inches. Do this for eight. The next one are cat's eye and white and then the red. <coughs> beautiful red beads here. Lobster claw class. I don't see any marks. I'm going to measure it. It is a seven and a quarter. Very pretty. We'll do this for five. I should do a Christmas lot. That would be a good idea, huh? Mm -hmm. Maybe. But we're going to go ahead and sell these. Look at these. These are adorable. Very cute. Oh, wait a minute. We have more. That's it. For Christmas. So we have three Christmas bracelets. I love this one. That's pretty. Love the charms on that and the star. The Christmas star. We'll do the three of these for five dollars. Um, I love this one. And I'm going to keep this. Okay. A lot. Ooh, look at this one. This one's Sarah Blaine. It's got a WH. I think this is an expensive one, guys. I need to look her up and I'll get back with you on it. Very pretty. If you want to make an offer, you can make me an offer. Yeah, just um, let me leave it over here so I'll look it up tonight. Okay. And then I'll come back on. Okay, the next we have a glass wire bracelet. I guess that's where it ends. It's on a stretchy, but it's so big on me I can just put it on. Uh, we'll do that for two. Here's an acrylic stretchy. We'll do that one for two. We have a gold and black and uh, faux druzy look bracelet. Beautiful. It's in excellent condition. We'll do this one for three. Medium wrist. Ooh, this one's loaded with gemstone and it's silver. I'm almost sure. Yep. Yes, it is. Oh. 
Oh yeah, that's silver. Big time silver. Let me test the stones. Are stones. Yeah. Topaz. This should be amethyst. And spinel, I guess. I thought it was citrine. Peridot. Yep. And here's one. That's blue topaz. Yeah, this is all gemstone. Blue topaz, amethyst, um, peridot, I mean, not peridot, citrine, garnets. I think that's all the stones, different type stones that are in here. No, oh, there's a clear one. Let's see what that is. That might be topaz, though. Because topaz can be clear. Yes. Wow. Goes to sapphire and ruby. White sapphire? Could be. Hmm. Don't know. But all this is done in silver. I'm looking for a name. Let me undo this. It's got three places you can uh, adjust to. Adjust to. Thank you, honey. It's okay. My brain just goes blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah. Blah, blah. I can't believe this is not marked anywhere. Come on. Show me a mark. I'm sure you want to know, too. can't see one. So we will test. Let me just test the uh, stone area too. Nikki Butler used to do a lot of this design right here on, uh, I think he was on HSN. That was eons ago. And I used to buy it all the time. So didn't know that, did you, honey? Because he was out flying. I was out yeah. spending money. It was my sanity. Somebody had to support your habit. Yeah, really. You're <laughs> still doing it, aren't you? Mm hmm That's right. I don't mind. Okay, the clasp is fluorescing. The other fluorescent some... It's more splotchy, so I don't know if it could be silver and brass in there. Sorry guys, I want to take my time on this because I want to make sure I know what I'm selling. I can see the brass coming through, I think. Try that again. Oh, shoot. Missed the whole thing. Oh, no. It fluoresced. So let's... Let's try the ring. Did I do the rings? Mm -hmm. Then did I do this? I didn't do this. Gently. See, I will do it gently. I'm not pressing at all.
toggle is not fluorescing. So it's got a brass undertone. But silver over brass is what it looks like. But these are definitely gemstones. And I don't know if they're natural gemstones or if they're lab created. Both have the same um, properties. properties. So let's measure it. I didn't do that. Goes from eight to seven. So that's about seven and a quarter there. And this is about six and a half, I bet. Nope, that's seven. Okay, seven. Seven and three quarters. An eight. Thirty-eight dollars. I think that's a deal with all these gemstones. Okay. Next is a bone bracelet. It's got a bone piece here that well, I don't know why it was doing that. It's not broke anywhere. Old bone. <laughs> oh, this one's a little bit more stretched out on this end. That's what it is. See? So we're going to put that in the uh, $18 Hobby Lot. Oh, this is cute. little leaf and a little polka dot ceramic bead and some more glass beads. These leaves are glass. It's on this lobster claw clasp. I don't see any marks. That's what I'm checking for. No marks. This one is Ooh, nine inches. It could be an um, anklet, too. We'll do this for three. It's very cute. We have a hematite with a barrel closure. It is eight and a half inches. We'll do it for three. It's got a little stone in it, too. Right here. Cute. This is a little bit large. It'd be cute if you're going to the casino. Do that for three. Beautiful lamp work glass beads. Uh, right here, these. Porcelain, more glass bead. Uh, Clothesine, lamp work. Acrylic, 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 glass, and acrylic. So that's very odd to me. It's like a soup mix. Leftovers. Yeah, leftovers. Eight and a half. Looks pretty, though. But, yeah, it's got beautiful beads on it. We'll do this for five. That's worth every penny. We have a cloisonne, beautiful dark blue and the pink flowers and green leaves. This one is medium. It measures inside to inside two and a half inches. We'll do this one for six. We have some acrylic large wavy acrylic and this one's not large so we'll do them separate we'll do this one for two it's very pretty the design in there here's the inside the 
And here's your wavy one for two. And here's you some bangles. We're separating out. Okay. These are larger bangles. We do this. We'll just do them all for a dollar. And they're going in the hobby lot. But I need to put them in a bag because I did them in a group. Uh -huh. And a wrap bracelet with um Rivets? No. Yeah, rivets Stitch, or square. Yeah, grommets, rivets, I don't know. I forgot the term. Snaps in two places. I believe it's a no, it may be just a choker. No, I think you can. Yeah. Bracelet. Oops. Let me do it that way. Anyway. <laughs> Whatever. Just Maybe a choker or two. That look just doesn't fit you, Granny. <laughs> I know. Well, I'm sorry. I just. Hey. Sweet great grandma with, with her black leather bracelet with studs on it just just get my motorcycle ready honey oh well i'm past those days I know. yeah we used to go motorcycle riding that was fun i would have worn something like that oh i never gave a price it is i don't know two dollars have fun with it especially if you like to ride motorcycles And that was all the bracelets, and we'll be back. Bye now. Bye-bye.